Hi everyone, I am Frederico, also known as Fred. I'm a physicist at the Universidade Federal do Triângulo Mineiro in Brazil, also collaborating uh, with uh, Paul Whitford's group at Northeastern University. And we are gonna, in this video, uh, talk about uh, how to install VMD on Linux-based systems with uh, no administrative privileges. First things first, we have to get the VMD package from its website. And to do so, uh, you have to choose which version you prefer. Uh, in this case, we are going to uh, download the version 1.9.4, but the instructions also work with the version 1.9.3. To, to get the download link, you have to register yourself or just uh, give your credentials already registered, as in my case, and agree with the terms. Uh, then you are going to have the link. And it's uh, it's just a 65 megabyte download for a, a really powerful software. With VMD, uh, one can visualize structures of biomolecules, experimentally determine or simulated, prepare or analyze molecular dynamics, the molecular dynamics simulation data, uh, make videos, and obviously the most important work with RAD2, the ribosome angle decomposition software. Other nice features can be found at the VMD website or elsewhere on the on the internet. Yeah. And yeah. Look into the download. It's done. And yeah. Oh yeah, and I already have downloaded it before, but it's okay. To to keep things nice and organized, uh Let's create a, a new folder, a new installation folder, and move the VMD package to the new folder. And the next step is to uncompress the package. You can do that either by using the graphical application or through the command line, and yeah, both will work just uh, just just as fine. Just make sure that uh, all the files are there and you have uncompressed it correctly. Look into the readme file. The first instruction is to uncompress, which was done. And then we have to edit uh, the configure file. Um, yeah, but to do so, it's nice to open the terminal in this, in this folder. Uh, you can do this by right click as I've done or just open the terminal and go in there typing the, the path uh, the directory path and to proceed with the install you have to change some some lines on the configure file just yeah just let's just clean up a little bit and opening the configure file displaying it uh, there are two lines you have to pay attention that these two lines tell us uh, where the VMD startup uh, script will be placed and where the library will be installed. And uh, in these particular uh, particular folders, you have to have write privileges. Uh, in our case, we are going to use the folder uh, we are, we have created as a base, and then change the the parameters on the configure file to comply with our needs. Yeah, just be sure that you are not uh, messing up with the script, don't deleting the quotes or anything like that, and giving the whole, the, the whole, the entire, the entire path, directory path. After that, you have to type dot slash configure and hit enter, yeah, as, as we have done, yeah, before that, don't forget to save the configure file. And then after uh, placing the configuration, you have to go to the SRC directory by typing CD SRC and type make install. Fine, yeah. If you do that, at the end, you probably not have VMD from this place because you have placed the launcher on, other, on another folder. So the important detail is to run the VMD from the folder where the launcher was placed. And in our case, uh, is this 
place here. So after all that, the VMD is correctly installed, but you can just run VMD from that place or giving the entire the entire path to the VMD script by typing, for example, dot slash VMD in here. Yeah, you can open VMD just as fine. And if you are planning to launch VMD on any place, you can just go to your uh, root directory by type cd and enter and opening and open the your dot bash rc file um, with any text editor and in this case we are going to use vi just because I, uh, we are i'm used to that and in this file you are going to add an alias for vmd uh, and with this alias uh, you have to to give uh, which uh, which word you are going to use to VMD and then the entire uh, VMD launcher script uh, path with an, uh, with no shortcuts or something like that and please don't don't forget and don't mess up with the single quotes here to save that on VMD yeah make sure the single quotes are okay you have to type ask colon wq and enter and have to load the dot um, rc by typing source and yeah you are just fine and to make sure that everything is is working you can open another terminal and just type vmd and enter and yeah as you can see it's it's working we have opened two vmd uh, instances so yeah i with that i hope you all enjoy and good luck with using vmd and red too bye bye